Hi guys, Lene here, doing our second week of herb tutelage or whatever you want to call it. Today I'm going to work on a few, rosemary being the first one, one of my very favorite herbs, rosemary. I'm going to read a little bit of some info I have on it, but I'm going to tell you first it's for protection, love, lust. It is also uh, the only herb that can be substituted for any herb. Um, any herb whatsoever that you need for something, you can use rosemary in substitution for. Uh, it's also good for purification. Um, it cleanses. It's great to burn in your home, especially after you've smudged. It's a good thing to use for that. So I'm going to read a little bit from, oh, it's for healing, sleep, and youth as well. I'm going to read a little bit from Mar uh, Scott Cunningham's book of Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs because there's so much info on rosemary. I want to be sure you get it all. So I'm not going to read from it, but I'm going to translate from it. So when you burn it, it is cleansing. It gives purifying that, uh, vibrations. When it's smoldered, it gets rid of negativity, uh, especially if you do it before performing magic. It is one of the very oldest incenses, which most of us knew that. You should definitely know that. Rosemary is one of the oldest incenses there is. Used in many churches, many synagogues, many uh, religious or holy sites, rosemary. Frankincense, myrrh, rosemary. Uh, when you put it beneath the pillow, it ensures a good night of sleep and drives away nightmares. That's a good one to know. When you put it under the bed, it protects the sleeper from all harm. When it is hung on the porch or doorpost, it keeps thieves out of the house and is carried to remain healthy. Placed in a bath, it purifies. A chaplet of rosemary worn aids with memory, while the wood smelled often preserves youthfulness. Also, you can infuse bath water with rosemary to preserve youthfulness. Uh, it has long been used in love and lust incenses and other mixtures, and healing poppets are often stuffed with it. Um, take advantage to take advantage of its curative vibra vibrations. Rosemary infused is used to wash the hands before healing work, and the leaves mixed with juniper berry are burned in sick rooms to pr promote healing. If you want to receive knowledge to a question, burn the rosemary on charcoal and smell the smoke. It'll give you the answer. Rosemary is also gr grown to attract elves, and the powdered leaves wrapped in linen cloth onto the right arm dispel dis uh, depression and make the emotions light and merry. That's a good one to know. It's also a good substitute for frankincense. So that's my that's my Scott Cunningham on rosemary. Um, next, I want to talk about yarrow. Yarrow is for courage, but it's used a lot in love spells, but it gives great courage. It's also wonderful to uplift your psychic vibrations and psychic powers. You can make a tea out of it for that to, to raise your psychic um, powers. Um, carried or hung for love, and when you use it in wedding decorations, it ensures seven years of a happy marriage. That's good to know. Um... That's really all I have on Yarrow today. I use Yarrow a lot for healing, and I use Yarrow a lot for my love spells. It also strengthens other herbs when used in conjunction with, so that's one to keep in mind as well. Next, I want to talk about mustard seed. Mustard seeds are for fertility protection um, and mental power. However, used in hoodoo, they do many other things. They are used to heighten a curse. They are used to heighten a hex. They heighten the power of it. Uh, they are also used to draw, draw something So in hoodoo. So if you're using them for something good like luck, which they're great with, and so on and so forth, mustard seeds can draw that to you. If you're using it in hoodoo and you want to draw something not so nice, mustard seed is used uh, for that as well. Next, we'll talk about mandrake, which is good for protection, fertility, money, love, and health. 
This is a good one for you to know right now in the times we're in. If you wear it, it can prevent you from contracting contractible illnesses. It's a good one for the time to know that if you wear it in an amulet, it can keep you from contracting contractible illnesses. So that's a good one to know. Uh, a whole mandrake root placed on the hearth of the home protects it completely from everything. Um, let's see. Where the mandrake, where there is mandrake, demons cannot reside. Keep that in mind. And so the root is used in exorcism, exorcism of people, places, or things. To activate a dried mandrake, you, to bring its powers out of hibernation, you place it in a prominent location in the house and leave it there undisturbed for three days. Then place it in warm water and leave it overnight. Afterwards, the root is activated and may be used in any magical practice. The water in which the root has bathed can be sprinkled on windows and doors of the house to protect it or onto people to purify them. Mandrake has also long served as a poppet in image magic, but its extreme scarcity and high cost usually forces the magician or witch to look for substitute. Ash roots, apples, the root of briony, the American may apple, and many others have been used. Money placed beside mandrake root, especially in silver coins, is said to double, and the scent of the mandrake causes sleep. Something I wanted to talk about because I read it here. Um, pop it in the image. Okay, pop it magic with mandrake. Pop it magic with mandrake can still be done. You don't have to have the whole root. You can use the sticks. <clears throat> much like you can with roses in a love spell. You know, you can put two sticks like this for the legs, one across for the arms, and use something for the head. Uh, acorn makes a great head substitution, as does an allspice berry, a juniper berry, anything like that. And you can still make a poppet with mandrake using the sticks, and that's important to know because a lot of people think if you can't get a hold of a, a whole mandrake which you can if you've got the money but you're gonna pay for it and I'm talking thousands um, but it can still be used for poppets and it does work very well you can also make a poppet and use mandrake in that poppet um, with your rosemary if it's for healing for love luck money protection just about anything so so that is today's lessons on uh, herbs I will be back next week with some more, hopefully before then, with some more just fun and info and and uh, hanging out. But um, we shall see. I'm trying really hard to get a live in here, but I'm having a hard time finding the time. So hopefully that won't be long. I love you guys. You're all very, very sacred, divine beings of light and love. Know that you are. Know that you're loved. And know that I miss you dearly. I miss you guys so much. Please take care of you. Stay safe. Stay indoors. Do your things you got to do, but do them safely. I love you guys. Bye.